Okay, Bernard is out sick today, so he really didn't do anything this weekend except uh, just sit and suffer. So we're going to find out uh, what didn't happen to producer Denny's this weekend. Did he fall in his lake trying to reach a dog toy that rolled in? <laughs> okay. You're channeling Jay Bird. Yeah. I can see that happening. I live right on a lake, too. My you dog's do. so rambunctious. <laughs> uh, did he see a boy fart on bread at Publix? Wow. What a bold move. Uh, did he get threatened in Mortal Kombat while playing online? I think that happened because that's happened to him before. <laughs> did he eat his baby Lachlan's throw up by accident? Or did he have a neighbor try and keep his package after it was accidentally delivered to them instead of to Denny's? I'm going to go with the uh, boy farting on bread at Publix. Hopefully that didn't happen. What do you think it is, Virginia? I'm going to go with the neighbor taking his package. I hope that didn't happen because now we got beef. Yeah. Okay, what uh, did not happen this weekend, Denny's? You guys are both wrong. I didn't fall in the lake. I almost fell in the lake. Oh, you didn't fall in the lake. I didn't fall in the lake. But I did see a boy fart on bread. Wow. How how old is this boy? He must have been 12. Okay. He was with his back. You know, they they get bored, and he was just leaning with his back against the wall. It was in the bread section while I was passing by, and he just let it rip right on the bread. His mom yelled at him and everything. Oh, no. (laughs) What did she say? She she goes, what was that? Was that you? She started freaking out on him. And then they went in another aisle, but then nobody ever knows that happened you could buy that bread yeah fart bread oh you don't want that <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just, oh my god there has to be some rules on that right <laughs> all right from here moving forward we always have to smell our bread check, before we buy it check your bread but yeah he was just sitting there bored and he farted on the bread dude i couldn't believe it well, at least it was brown bread <laughs> oh, yeah i mean it was wheat bread okay but still oh uh, that's terrible have we no law yeah, uh, i couldn't believe it uh, but on the other one that you guessed, so what are the rules on this, right? On I, I or you know we're ordering stuff for Christmas. Everybody's yeah. trying to get their Christmas stuff done. Yeah. I found it was from the year my brother was born, 1985. I found a deck of cards. He's, he collects cards and stuff. Uh-huh. I had to order it from eBay. It was one of those ones that they don't make anymore. I just happened to find it, and I found it wrapped in the package, meaning it was never opened. Okay, yeah. So I was super hyped because I go, it's never even been opened. If you don't even want to open it, you can leave it the way it was, right? Right. Well, anyway, it took two weeks to get this thing. And, it, and then they said it was delivered, and they sent me a picture, and it was the wrong door. And I go, darn it, right? So you recognized the door. I did because I looked, and I accidentally put my old address from when I lived in an apartment. Oh. I didn't put my new address. When I was using the app to check out, I did the quick checkout, not paying attention. I didn't check my details. I didn't see that it wasn't my new address. It was saved under my old address, and I okay. never used eBay, so oh. I just never thought of it. Yeah. This is the classic Jaybird move. Ugh. He's done the same thing with Uber Eats. So I waited, because this all went down Wednesday. I waited about four days, because I go, maybe they can correct it. Mm. I sent you know a message to the post office saying if they can leave a note and, and stuff, because I didn't really want to go there and harass them. I don't it know is kind of weird are. to go to somebody's door, because now it's aggressive. Well, so so nobody ever gets back to me, and I felt I want to get my package. So I went there, and I knocked at the door. And I guess there's no real law or anything that they have to give it to you. The guy was giving me a really hard time about it. It wasn't until his wife stepped in, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we have that. So I finally got it back, but they Ooh. weren't going to give it to me. What was he what? Like, why wouldn't he give it to you? Well, he goes, how do I know this is yours? How do I know this isn't a scam? You just come to people's houses and ask for things. And I go, well, so I go, real quick, just to paint a picture. I used to live in this apartment. I just no longer live here. When I was filling out my app real quick, I yeah. accidentally put my old address. And then what did he say? I'm- well, so he's like, let me see your license. But I'm like, my license is updated. I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I mean, if you could say the name on the package and what the contents were, how is any regular grifter going to know that? Well, that's what I go. It's in a little box. It's a deck of cards. It can't be any larger than my hand. Right. So, what is this guy's problem? Dude, I couldn't believe it, but I Come guess there's on, no man. law that you you would have to give that back. It wasn't until they heard the argument and his wife came out and made him give it to me. <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> what a but tool. I guess there's really... I, the, no, I don't think still, you have I mean, to give it being to Being cool, I mean, come on. Like, a no. regular, uh, a common thief is not going to know. Uh, maybe they get the name, but then the contents of the package, that's just not going to happen. It came by USPS. Yes. Then it is illegal for him to open it or keep it. That's your mail if it's got your name on it. It had my uh-huh. name on it. It had yeah. everything. I guess since he said there was a couple days, no one came by, nobody said anything. He's like, we opened it, thinking maybe it was just a mistake. Saw it was the cards. Didn't think it was yours. 
Thought we'd keep it. Right. <laughs> that's what they were saying. And I go, oh, well, can I have that? I go, that's a gift from my brother. I go, if you notice, that card's not even new cards. It's not like I can go out and buy this. The only yeah. reason I'm pressing this is because I had to find that and order it. And it was right. special. It was a special. And what do they care about some cards? Like, do they collect them? Probably not. So is there a scam or something? Or is there any way I could have scammed at this guy? No. But for some reason, they did not want to give he that to me. Difficult. He was being a douche. Well, so is it illegal to keep that if... I mean, what are the rules on that? You could also just say, I never got it, you, and then you're just not, pretend like you never got it. Right. right. You totally mm-hmm. could do that. Yeah. You're not allowed to open somebody else's mail. That is a thing. Mm-hmm. What do you do in this situation? You know, I was trying not to pick a fight with this guy. I was just trying to get my package, and the guy's giving me a hard time. Thank goodness his wife was there and stepped in with some sensibility. So but, I guess she was the one who originally found it, and she set it aside. When he uh, asked her about it, he was just like, we'll keep it. And yeah. then since nobody came... For five days or whatever, they just mm. thought it didn't matter. Yeah, I wonder on the returns department, since uh, I guess in a sense it was your error. Well, so I hit up the eBay guy. That was the first thing I did and said, hey, man, I accidentally put the wrong address. Uh-huh. And, and he goes, well, I did my side of the thing. I, I did what you told me to do. So it's, right. it's the blood's not on my hands it's anymore. It's true. Yeah. So I, then I'm hitting up the UPS people, and they told me they couldn't locate. They can't give me the address of anyone. So it wasn't until I looked and I accidentally saw, or I saw that I accidentally put the address. That's how I put it all together. Yeah. Nobody else helped me with this. I had uh-huh. to sleuth this myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then to get there and have the guy refuse to give it to me was right. like insane. Yeah, that is crazy. You should have brought some muscle with you. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a. I did it in between errands, just thinking this would be something that I could just stop off and do. Always assume when you're knocking on a stranger's door that it could go sideways. Bring muscle. Who would have thought? So it's just people just love giving me a hard time or something. So you had yeah. that confrontation, then you had a confrontation playing Mortal Kombat. It, it, the weirdest twist in, I, I just, I don't like playing games on the internet. The people are yeah. just, it's ruthless. People, there's no accountability for anything anyone does or says. Yeah. But I even lost, and the guy was talking trash. And I, I, it's always <laughs> the people you want to win against that yeah. beat you somehow. Uh-huh. It went down to the final match of the final thing. We jump kicked at the same time, took damage at the same time, and he won. And then he goes on just calling me a trash player, saying <laughs> that I'm the reason that everyone that people don't play Mortal Kombat because uh, because I cheat and I'm a, I'm a trash player. All this stuff. Oh, I was like, bro, really? I lost. I don't know why you're so mad at me. <laughs> I was like, I'm mad at you. That's it's weird. A, I can't play online, man. I can't do it anymore. You're running into the worst people on planet Earth. Online, it's because it's, nobody's there's no accountability, so people can yeah. just say Flawless. whatever the heck they want, it's and like then your mic's waters. on. So I have my mic off, so for me to get back in there, I have to go into options and turn it on, and I'm like, hey, screw you, and then they're already <laughs> hanging up on me by then. So. <laughs> Rocco has drama, too, with video games. He rage quit on somebody the other night, and he vowed he will never be friends with this kid again. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> he said he rage uh-oh. quit. These there just has to games. be some law with the video games now, because mm-hmm. I, I, imagine if I was a younger person, and I, yeah. I was never exposed to any of this stuff. For me, I'd just go, you know, screw you, but... yeah. If you're a younger kid, I mean, I remember mm. when Uno came out, they were having problems with that game Uno on Microsoft because it was one of the first games where you could have your camera on and okay. see the other player and play. And they kept having people flashing people. Oh, boy. Hey, that yeah. was all people were using it for <laughs> until they had to shut Uno it down. Uno or Dose. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so you just can't trust anyone with anything oh. if they can talk to you in your house. Wow. <laughs> and uh, you accidentally ate uh, baby Lachlan's throw up. He threw up in my Chinese food when I wasn't paying attention. Oh. I didn't realize it until I started tasting like a creamy milk taste that tends to not be there. Like a sour, milky taste. I mean, what a sneaky, underhanded uh, baby move. Oh, that's terrible. He's at that point yeah, now where geez. he sits up, yeah. but there's a 50% chance that he might vomit yeah. while he sits up. It Wait just a happens. minute. That's not sesame sauce. Uh, <laughs> yes. I was eating, I go, this taste. It's just a little off. <laughs> I got that thing where you strap the baby to your chest. Yeah, right? like Remember? in the hangover. Uh, like in the hangover, but we have one too. It kind of it comes out like a tray. It, it it wraps around you, and then it has a platform. That way you can set him. You put an arm around. That way you can face him towards the TV if you're sitting and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I think he just leaned right over when I wasn't looking. <laughs> just vomited right in my. <laughs> That's He's like, amazing. I'll show you. <laughs> you didn't change my diaper fast enough last hour. <laughs> yeah, right. They keep you on your toes. Right. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh. There's no harder work in this world than caring for a baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad my kids are grown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs>